And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. I'm in the Mazer kitchen with Chef Austin Davis from the Bright yes. Star Restaurant in Bessemer. Today, we are making a pecan crusted grouper. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Great, great. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me also. Are you excited it's Friday? I assume you've uh, got busy weekends. I think I'm excited about every day. Yeah. When December 1st comes in, that's when our little Christmas parties get to rolling in and the kitchen crew and the front staff and everybody that belongs to the Bright Star sort of in an up mood because we know we are fixing to get some good business going on with Christmas parties and stuff. Good business is always a good thing. Right. But basically I want to call this, I don't want to call it a Christmas or a holiday. I want to call it a fall special. Okay. Certain months out of the year, you know we can't catch grouper. Yes. So blessed. We got at least a thousand pounds of fresh grouper in. That's okay. why I chose grouper today. And our fish cutter, Carl Thomas, he, like I say, he breaks them down. Got me a beautiful filet ready to go today. Nice. We're going to pair it with what I call a creamy corn sauce. Okay. You can use fresh corn off the comp if mm -hmm. you like, if you can find, if you got the time to cook. Okay. I rendered a little bacon down, some applewood first. Okay. Then I took some celery, onions, jalapenos, fresh garlic, Cavendish Greek season. They got it on slow temp. You don't want to really scorch the bacon after the render. You cook your yes. vegetables. Okay, got you. In between, I'm going to get ready to prepare the snapper. I'm going to sear it off real, real good here. Okay. And I'm going to finish it off in a 300 and 75 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Okay. And right here I got my asparagus working. I got my roasted pecans already ahead of time ready to go. Okay, the pecans and asparagus? Yes ma'am. Basically the pecans, are, like we say, been peeled, okay. halves, olive oil. Uh, well you came prepared Creole today. seasoning, yes, yes. I want to, <laughs> I want a complete meal right here. Okay, where do we begin? Okay, like I said, we, we finished this here. Okay. And I, we get started with our fish. Normally, okay. a lot of times I put a little ribs in it. It sort of helped the fish a lot of time from what I call curling up because, it's, like I said, it's a textured fish in this group. Of, right here is that little stomach line, we call it, or belly line right underneath the snap throats. Okay. So, now, is there an art to cutting fish? Uh, it's more than an art because certain fish we cut different ways. But okay. our guff snapper, guff group, all of them are filleted. Do you learn all of that in culinary school? Well, when you say the word culinary school, basically it gives you fillets all ready to go. Yeah. We're from the old school. We get yeah. the whole fish in, the uh, eyes, the <laughs> cheeks, the bodies. So that's hey, how we process. I, I love it. I love old school. I'm right. old school too. So I take about a good eight ounce portions out of these pieces of fish here. Okay. Just set them to the side. Gotcha. And right here, I'm on sort of like I always use the word glue. Okay. A lot of times we use heavy whipping cream. People use egg wash. But for this one right here, I'm just okay. going to lightly dust it. Okay. Right here, I roast it the same way some pecans. Okay. Run it through a food process, add yeah. a little flour, and a little Creole seasoning. Do you have memories growing up of being in the kitchen doing this kind of stuff? I, people always tell me about where you get your interest for cooking and that kind of nature. Mm -hmm. I stay hungry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So in that process, young teenagers starting with bologna sandwiches and grilled cheeses and, yes. and just learning. And you, as the years went over, you know, like you just said. Yeah, you just learn. You know, oh, yeah. I, I've got three kids and two of them are boys and I am amazed at the amount of food they, okay. they can go into their bellies. <laughs> right. What is it with little boys and eating? It's uh, non-stop. Bingo. Yes. And then the energy that they burn. I guess that is. Okay. Last night, my six-year-old, he ate, well, now nah, he just turned seven, so I still right. say six, but seven. He um, ate three huge biscuits with gravy for dinner, and I was like, that's more than my husband ate. Like, uh, how could you I fit mean, that in that belly? That's right. Okay, okay get the I'm stove gonna, ready. I don't want it too hot. Okay. Like you see, you don't see my oil blistering. <laughs> right. But see, you don't want to burn your pecans because they've already been roasted. Okay. So I'm going to enter that fish into that saute pan. I'm going to let you... In a matter you... of 45 minutes, like I said, I'm going to get the uh, desired color. Okay. Finish it in the oven. I'm going to complete this sauce. Hopefully, within time, we'll be all complete. Be ready to plate it up in the end so we can enjoy pecan crusted grouper. Okay. Chef Austin, we'll be back with you in a few minutes. Thank you, ma'am. Of course, still to come, all the details on a holiday open house at Artist on the Bluff. Darla Williamson joins us next. Stay with ABC 3340.